Hey everyone, this is Matthew Doyle for Autodesk Gameware. We're very excited that we've got our new Scaleform Unity plugin for iOS development, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to install it and to set it up, including setting up your Xcode project and using our sample projects to do that. And uh, obviously this is for Macintosh developers, so if you're using a PC, you'll want to watch our other video specifically for PC development and Android development. Now, we do have a plugin for Android on the Mac, however the setup and installation for that plugin is pretty much the same as it would be for PC. So if you're interested in Android development on your Macintosh, watch the PC video that we also have. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you'll need to register as a developer at gameware.autodesk.com. Once you do, you should be able to access the Scaleform download page for the Unity plugin, which should look something like this. And as you can see here on this page, we have five downloads, and those include the Unity plugin for Android for PC development, the plugin for Android for Mac development, and of course the plugin for iOS, and we only have that for Macintosh development. And then last of all, plugin for Windows, obviously that is on the PC. We'll go ahead and download that plugin for iOS development. And to do that, we'll just click on the link here on the right. And of course, once it's finished downloading, you'll find it in your downloads. Double click the package to run it. Just follow all the prompts that you need to to install the package. Okay, once that installation is finished, Let's take a look at where you will find it. So open the finder, double click on your user folder, and inside your user folder you'll find Scaleform 4.1 iOS. In this folder you're going to find five subfolders, bin, doc, integrations, lib, and resources. So let's take a quick look at some of these folders. Inside of the bin folder you're going to find several important files including under the Mac OS folder you will find the FX Media Player. That is our standalone scale form player that you can launch flash files in. In the doc folder, you'll find many documents on scale form features and functionality and scale form development in general. And of course, you're going to want to read a lot of these docs to help you get up to speed with working with scale form. Now, in the lib folder, you're going to find some very important files related to iOS development in general. And then in the resources folder, you're going to find what we call our component lightweight interface kit, or CLIC for short. CLIC is basically a widget framework of components such as sliders, checkboxes, scrolling lists, and so forth. And uh, you'll want to use those to help you rapidly prototype your menus. Now in the integrations folder, you're going to find a Unity 3.5 folder. And within this, all of the important things that we'll be working with today will be found. First up is the document folder. And in this folder, you're going to find two document files. Specifically, you'll find a readme file that you'll have some basic information that we'll be discussing in this video on how to set up a project. And then you'll have an integration document which will give you further details on how Scaleform is integrated into Unity as well as uh, more details on setting up Scaleform and using some of the various features and functionality. You will find two demo projects, Starship Down and Hello World. Hello World, a very simple implementation of scale form with some buttons that do things, and in Starship Down being a more complex, uh, full functioning game with the scale form menu system. Also, you'll find the source folder, which contains some very important scale form source files, and in, in your lib folder, you will find debug, release, and shipping iOS libraries. Let's go ahead and launch one of the demos in Xcode and build it straight to our iPad. So in order to do that, we'll just go into the Starship Down folder here. And you should see a folder called iOS Project. Go into that as well. And at the very bottom in this folder, you'll find the Unity iPhone Xcode Project. Let's go ahead and run that. Now bear in mind, you won't be able to actually build this project to your device yet, as you haven't set up the bundle identifier for your company. So just follow along. Now this project is already set up to be built to an iOS device, so we don't really need to do a whole lot. However, there are a few things that we need to set up before continuing. First of all, we click up here on Unity iPhone, then click Edit Scheme. We want to change the build configuration to Release. Press OK. Next, we just want to make sure that we're all set up up here for setting to the iPad and not the simulator. So there's my iPad. We want to check Matthew Doyle's iPad as well here. And now we can click Run. Click Enable on this window. 
All right, and Xcode will now build the project and publish it to my iPad. And that's all there is to get up and running. If you have your iPad connected, you should see the demo running on that iPad. So take some time to play around with the demo to see what it does, check out the menu system and the in-game HUD as well. And we'll continue on with the next part of this tutorial. So now we're going to show you how to set up a new project. So we'll do File, New Project in Unity, and we'll set the path for our new project. Go to Applications into our Scale Form folder, then Integrations and Unity 3.5. And here we will give our project a name, and we're going to call this one Starship Down Demo. All right, and then we'll hit Create Project in the Project Wizard. This will restart Unity. Okay, so once Unity is back up, we have our new project. We need to change some of the build settings. So we'll click File, Build Settings. We'll select iOS and press the Switch Platform button. Next, we need to import the assets from our Starship Down package, which comes with the SDK. Click Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And in here, we need to find the Starship Down Unity package and just click it and open it. Unity will now import this package. If it asks to set permissions, do so. When the Import Package window comes up, press the Import button, and Unity will begin the import process. Okay, once that's finished, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to copy the editor settings from the old Starship Down project into our new one. So we'll go to Applications, Scale Forms, Integration, Unity 3.5, and you should see a folder Starship Down underscore Settings. Go in there, then Project Settings in there. Right-click Editor Build Settings, copy it. Then we'll go back into our integration folder, find our Starship Down demo folder, go into its project settings, right click, paste item. And then of course we will replace the old version. Okay, so now we're going to go back into our build settings. Click the player settings button and we need to change a few things. Under resolution and presentation, change the default orientation to landscape left. Under other settings, we need to give ourselves a bundle identifier. This is an identifier that you should already have as a developer on the iOS system. So we're going to change ours to com.autodesk.unitydemo. Of course, this should be your company and product ID. We're going to change our target platform to ARM v7. And we're going to change the target iOS version to 5.1. So back to our build settings, we can now press build, and this will bring up a build iOS window. We want to put the project to save as iOS underscore project, and then click save. This will build our Xcode project, which contains all of the assets that we are using in this demo. Now obviously, the same steps would be used for creating an entirely new project of your own. Okay, so now we can go into the finder, and in our Starship Down demo directory, you will find our new iOS project folder, and then in there we'll find our Xcode project. So let's go ahead and double-click that to run it. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your Xcode project to build to an iOS device. So first of all, we're going to make sure that we've set our build to to our iPad. So Unity iPhone, Matthew Doyle's iPad here. Okay, and now we'll click on the Unity iPhone project there on the left, and click on Build Settings. Now in the search box for your build settings, just type in other, linker, flags. And that should give you the other linker flags entry. So we'll click on release to highlight it, bring it up, and here we'll be adding several entries. The first is dash L GFX underscore AS3 for the AS3 libraries. The next one is dash L GFX underscore AS2. Next is dash L GFX Next is dash L GFX render underscore GL. After that, dash L E X P A T expat. Next up, dash L GFX expat. Next, dash L P C R E. And these are all GFX specific libraries. Next we're going to add dash L Unity GFX internal. Okay, so we can close that, clear out the search box, and now we'll type in library search. And this will give us the library search paths entry. Open that up. 
and we'll open the release version and we're going to add a line in here everything in here should be in quotes and the first line we're going to add is string parentheses src root all caps close parentheses slash dot dot slash dot dot slash lib slash ios small i in that slash release dash iphone os all small We'll add another line, again all in quotes, string, parentheses, src root, all caps, close parentheses, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash. That's a lot of dots and slashes. All right, lib, slash, iPhone, dash, arm, v7, slash, release, underscore, no RTTI. All right, we'll add another line. Once again, in all quotes, string, parentheses, src root, close parentheses, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, again, lib, slash, iPhone, dash, arm, v7. Okay, that's all we need in here. That sets up our library search paths. Once again, we'll clear out the search box, and this time we'll type header, search and this will give us the header search paths entry and we're going to add a line in here put this in quotes string parentheses src root close parentheses slash dot dot slash dot dot slash src source and that's all we need in here all right we'll clear out the search box and next we'll type just pre pro so we're looking for preprocessor macros and we'll open that up just click on preprocessor macros to bring up the entry box, add a new line, and in here we'll type all caps sf underscore show underscore watermark. Press enter, we'll close that out, and that should propagate to the debug and release versions. Okay, we'll clear out our search box one more time. Now we'll click on Unity iPhone under project, and in our search box type the word build options and look for the compiler for C and C++ and Objective-C entry. We need to change that to LLVM GCC 4.2 as this is the compiler that Scaleform supports. Alright, so next we want to right click on our Unity iPhone entry on the far left there and in there we'll click Add Files to Unity iPhone. We'll go to the Applications folder, select our Scaleform entry then Integrations, Unity 3.5, and then we'll select Source, and in the Source folder we'll add sfexports.cpp. Click the Add button. Now we should be all set up to publish to our iOS device. First we'll do Edit Scheme, and change our build configuration to Release. Now this entire setup has been for the release version. Obviously if you want a debug version, you'll need to set it up for debug. And we'll click the Run button, Xcode will begin building, compiling the project, and publishing it to our iOS device, in this case my iPad. Alright, so now that our build has succeeded and we are copying our assets to the iOS device, you should see the demo running on your iOS device, and once again you can check that demo out, and play around with the menus, and so forth. Now, if you want to make changes to that demo, let's say your level changes, you add new textures, you move things around, you add new models, whatever the case may be, you're going to need to rebuild your project from Unity. So back in Unity, let's assume we've made some changes to our project. We'll need to click File Build Settings. Simply press the Build button. We should already have our project selected. In that case, we'll press Save and be sure to press the append button in this warning dialog otherwise you will replace the entire build which will also very likely replace your Xcode build settings so remember when you make changes to a project and you want to republish it when you click build choose append and not replace okay so that does it for this tutorial video in our next video we'll cover more detailed steps on how to actually build a Scaleform menu system so in the meantime, we recommend you read the documentation and play around with the integration yourself and see what kind of things you can come up with. We hope you enjoyed watching this video, and we'll see you next time.